Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, I would like to uh, present regarding the lab report 2 uh, for the title Antimicrobial Susceptibility This Essay for the subject SA6243 Fish Health Management My name is Muhammad Azri bin Muhammad I'm a Master of Science Aquaculture student from Faculty of Fisheries of Food Science University Malaysia Tengganu This is my lecture Professor Dr. Muhammad Effendi bin Abdul Wahid, uh, also a dean in the Faculty of Fisheries and Food Science, University of Malaysia Terengganu. Okay, so I go to the first chapter regarding the bacteria growth in PHI brood. So, for, in for introductions, be brain heart infusion PHI brood is a liquid medium rich in nutrient suitable for the cultivation of several strains of bacteria such as Staphylococci, meningococci, pneumococci, fungi, and yeast. PHI brew is a recommended in standard method for water testing and in antimicrobial susceptibility test. So, the date of the lab is on the 19th April 2021, was held in the Aquatic Organism Head Lab in Mission Mission Tengganu. So, the species for the is uh, we using the hybrid grouper from the previous lab. So the subculture for the 14 April 2021 were transfer for bacteria grow into the brain heart infusion broad medium. So I go to the material and method. So this is the material that uh, we use in the lab inoculation loop, Bunsen burner, lamina flow, BHI broad media and bacteria sample from the 14 April which form the hybrid grouper. So this is the uh, summary of the method. So for the first, we prepare the equipment such as the media, inoculation equipment, sample bacteria in agar plate. And then the next step, uh, we <coughs> uh, the sample itself from agar plate with the bacteria. So all the process done in the lamina flow. And for that, uh, so we uh, pick up a 30 single colonies bacteria from the agar plate uh, and swap using the ster sterile wire loop to the edge of the plate. And then, uh, the from the edge of the plate, we insert uh, all the single colony bacteria into the BHI brood using the sterile wire loop. And then we see the BHI bottle by uh, what, what they call uh, heat the bottle cap using the uh, from the Bunsen burner. And then we put the BHI brood bottle into the incubator shaker for twenty hours, twenty four hours. Okay, this is uh, the video uh, from agar plate to the BHI brood. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, so I pick up uh, 30 uh, single colonies and then I swap to the edge of the uh, plate lagi. Okay, and then I put into I dip uh, the sterile wire loop into the BHI brood media uh, for transfer the uh, uh, colonies bacteria into the new medium so I uh, beat a knock uh, to remove the the, the colonies uh, into the BHI brood media Uh, a bit difficult for me it's, uh, it's uh, my first time okay it's a, a bit sticky for me and then oh and then I uh, go to ban to to what they call the sterile the bottle and then I uh, close the cap bottle so for the result Okay, this is uh, the BHI brood uh, being put into the incubator shaker shaker for the 24 hours and this is the result after 24 hours. So, the result is on the 20th April 2021 on the Thursday. So, we have uh, monitored the change of the BHI brood color from clear to the cloudy. Okay, this is the cloudy and this is the sign of inhibition of bacteria so and then the sample from BHI brood 
we use for the serial dilution and antimicrobial antimicrobial susceptibility this assay uh, for the day okay now i go to the lab number two is serial dilution so what is a serial dilution is a series of repeated dilution intended to decrease concentration to more to a more acceptable level the serial dilution is used to estimate an unknown material concentration such as number of organisms, bacteria, viruses or colonies by counting colonies formed from the consecutive dilution. By properly dilute a sample, one may create incubated plates with an easily countable number of colony about 30 to 30-100 and determine the number of microorganisms in the sample. So the date of the serial dilution lab uh, on the 20th April. So the sample bacteria in the HI brew will subculture into new media, into new agar media to produce freshly new bacteria to estimate colony forming unit CFU by serial dilution plating. So I go to the material and method. Okay, this is the material in the be used in the lab. Bunsen burner, micropipette, test tube, uh, glass hockey stick, and the marine agar, and not to forget the BHI brood with the 24 hours bacteria growth from the first uh, lab. So, this is the summary of the method. So, for the first, uh, prepare the equipment, media, inoculation equipment, six test tube contain 9 milliliter distilled water and also the BHI brood sample so from the BHI brood sample we pipette 1 ml of BHI to the 9 ml distilled water of test tube so we name the first test tube is 10 negative 1 so then from the 10 negative 1 we transfer 1 ml to another test tube so we name uh, is a uh, 10 negative 2 uh, we shake the test tube and then we repeat all the process until we have uh, have a six uh, dilution for the six test tube. So from the concentration uh, negative one until uh, negative six, and then after finish all dilution from from the one to two, two to three until reach uh, the ten uh, negative six, and then we pipette zero point m. 0.1 ml from the first uh, solution is a 10 negative 1 to the agar plate and then we spread uh, the solution with sterile glass hockey and seal the agar and then we repeat the process for another 5 uh, solution from the 10 negative 2 until 10 negative 1 also uh, put uh, the new agar and then we spread the sterile using the sterile, uh, sterile glass hockey stick and we seal the agar Agar, and then we put all the six uh, new uh, the new agar into the incubator for twenty three hour for, for twenty four hours. Okay, this is uh, I show you the video uh, uh, the demo performed by our professor. Okay, this is uh, for the serial dilution. Okay, this is uh, the first test tube. Uh, we name is a ten negative one. So the professor also show. So the the best way is we uh, put the cap bottle into the uh, uh, left uh, finger, and then we open the BHI brew and uh, shake before use. And then we pipette. Uh, okay, this is we have our setting for one ml of uh, the solution and then we put into the first test tube okay we we uh, close uh, the cap and then okay we go to another phase which uh, we shake the uh, test tube Okay, to uh, mix all the uh, distilled water and the solution. 
and then we use uh, another one uh, and uh, an, apa, a new uh, what they call the the what they call the tube one for the uh, pipette micro pipette and then we uh, what I call uh, repeat the process uh, for transfer from the test, test tube one uh, to the test tube number two which uh, for the solution 10 negative 2 until we reach, we have uh, about 10 negative 6 ok this is uh, the video uh, so demo from our prop uh, regarding the spreading bacteria so uh, the we pipette uh, 1.1 1, 1 ml from the first uh, uh, test tube uh, consists of a 10 negative 1 and put uh, the, into the new agar ok and then after that uh, we use the glass hockey stick uh, which uh, dip in, in the alcohol and then we use the fire from the ambassador uh, burner to sterilize the glass uh, wire loop ok we cool down a bit into the room uh, temperature and I think about 10 seconds maybe And then, okay, we swept uh, the uh, the agar by uh, rotating uh, the agar itself. Uh, so we uh, put a hole in the opacity and then we rotate. So cover to cover all the area in the agar. And then after that, uh, we seal the agar and we process uh, for the ten negative two until uh, ten negative six. Okay, for all the dilution. Okay, as for the result, okay, this is uh, the ten uh, agar plate. Uh, consists from uh, ten negative one, ten negative two, ten negative three, ten negative four, ten negative five, and ten negative six. Okay, this is uh, the uh, what I call uh, the observation of the inhibition of bacteria. So as you can see from the 10 negative one, uh, we have a T and T C, which uh, stand for T numerous to count, and also same for 10 negative two, T and T C, and also same from the 10 negative three, T and T C, and for the 10 negative four, uh, I have uh, counted is about 131 uh, single colony, and for the 10 negative five, about 27, and there's no uh, inhibition, inhibition of bacteria were observed in the uh, 10 negative 6 uh, agar plate so we did a uh, calculations okay basically uh, the formula formulation is uh, based on the uh, what they call the rule of thumb uh, of three, uh, 30 to 300 uh, colonies so we uh, use uh, the form the uh, uh, dilution of 10 negative 4 so 131 times uh, 10 negative 4 is 1.3 and then we have uh, 1.3 times 10 uh, 7 CFU per ml so we go to for the we, we measure we calculate for the inner columns so we ta we uh, from this result we 1.31 we times 189 uh, from the inner column from the BHA brew so we have uh, the result is 2.61 times 10 9 CFU per ml. Okay, this is the final result for inoculum. So for discussions, okay, as you can see, uh, as I mentioned earlier, three to three hundred colonies for for counting. So we use from the, the 10 negative four dilution. So we have the data of bacterium uh, is uh, it's a medium size uh, in the inoculum and so for identification of bacteria we need to go to the another process we consist of api test kit or maybe use a pcr method to identify what kind of bacteria we have in the 
in the plate now I go to the lab number 3 antimicrobial susceptibility this assay so the, the Kirby bow test is an important standard technique for evaluating the efficiency of antimicrobial against pathogenic bacteria antimicrobial impregnated uh, impregnated uh, paper discs are put into a plate infected to create a bacteria load in the test. The goal is to evaluate pathogen susceptibility to a variety of antibiotics. So the same uh, date for the uh, antimicrobial susceptibility days on the 20 April uh, 2021. So the sample bacteria in the BH Hebrew were subcultured into new bacteria agar agar bacteria to produce freshly new bacteria for antibiotic sensitivity test so i go to the material and method so this is uh, the material i use uh, micropipette forcep pansen burner antimicrobial susceptibility this uh, the marine algae and the glass hockey stick and also the ash brook with the 24 hours bacteria grow so this is uh, the, the summary of the methods. So the first one, pre preparation of the equipment. It consists of me media, inoculation equipment, entry microbial susceptibility dish, and BHI brood sample. So before we before that, we need to divide it area in the agar plate by using a permanent uh, marker pen on the back of the agar plate. And then uh, for we use the sample BHI brood sample. We pipette one ml of the BHI brood to the marine agar plate, and we spread the solution using a sterile glass hockey stick. And then using the forcep, we pick the antimicrobial susceptibility dish. And okay, uh, before that we spreading the the agar. Oh sorry, uh, we the upper we put the into the spreading agar plate. And we repeat process for another antibiotics. For for the area, maybe uh, in the one uh, agar plate, maybe we can put uh, at least four. Maybe we, we can divide it into the four. We can put uh, antibiotic number one, maybe the, the antibiotic number two, three, and four. Different types of antibiotic into into the one uh, sample of agar plate. And then all the agar plate we put into the incubator for 24 hours. And for the results, okay, this is uh, the what uh, I mentioned earlier. So the dividing area using the permanent pen marker. Okay, this is the this uh, antimicrobial this, and it is uh, after we measure what I call the coverage area. So in the units is in the centimeter. So this is uh, the results. Okay, as as you can see, uh, I have used a uh, five. Uh, different uh, types of antibiotics MY2 is a, of a lincomycin so the radius me measurement so the first uh, uh, non-detected uh, the second uh, 1.2 cm and the, the, the third uh, sample was not detected so like, uh, basically the lincomycin is a narrow uh, spectrum antibiotics uh, uh, basically for against uh, gram positive bacteria cn10 is uh, uh, of uh, is for the gen gentamicin so as you can see uh, we have a radius uh, we can detect uh, the radius management which uh, about 1.5 cm in the first sample 2.4 cm uh, in the second sample 2 cm in the third sample so gentamicin is a broad spectrum antibiotics but typically uh, against uh, gram negative bacteria chlorampenicol uh, as you can see we have a detection in all sample 1.5 cm 1.5 cm and 1.6 cm also as a broad spectrum uh, antibiotic which uh, basically we can uh, uh, against uh, uh, bacteria gram positive and also uh, uh, negative gram negative bacteria and tetracycline also we have uh, what they call all the third sample we have uh, uh, detection uh, the, the the antibiotic is uh, against uh, to the antibi by antibiotic skin to the bacteria so 30 cm eh, sorry 3 cm 
2.5 cm, 2.7 cm, and also in the broad uh, spectrum category antibiotics. And the last CT10 is a cholesterol sulfate. Um, from the three sample were uh, non detected. Okay, uh, so cholesterol sulfate is a narrow uh, spectrum antibiotics, uh, basically uh, against for the gram negative bacteria. So for discussion, so antibiotic use for the gram negative bacteria and also broad spectrum. So as you can see, we have a detection of antibiotic coverage area. So it's a possible result is an antibiotic have a good effect against the bacteria. And lastly, for the precaution procedure. So the first, we must wear rubber glove, face mask, lab coat at all time when in the lab. And second, always sanitize hand before, during, and after lab session. And all the bacteria plate must put in the disposable bag before put into autoclave for the pathogen eradication. Okay, this is uh, as you can see the full the video presentation can be accessed uh, through the link provided. Okay, okay, this is the reference that I use. Okay, thank you. That's all. Thank you for for listening for my presentation. Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.